It's a close encounter on the water. You have to see to believe. Yesterday, we showed you the incredible video of a Port Alberni woman captured on a fishing trip just off you Euclulet. A gray whale nudging her boat and swimming underneath the small vessel. Then a whale breached meters from a fishing boat off Tofino. Also caught on tape. What are the odds, right? Well, tonight, experts say humans and whales are meeting more often than you might think. CTV's Louise Hartland explains. Joe, it's right in front of us. It started as it's a fishing us. trip. It's under us. It's under us. Oh my God. Oh my God. And transformed into a whale of a tail. A tail the Department of Fisheries and Oceans says is becoming an all too familiar tune. There's been a number of uh, incidents uh, regarding gray whales and interactions with boaters. Last week, Shirley Antonelli and her husband were just off the coast of Euclulet when Shirley says the whale nearly flipped their five meter double eagle fishing vessel. Beside us, it went in front and then it flipped itself on its back and then came under us with its tail swinging under. I don't, I don't even think I had time to think. I didn't have time to be scared. <laughs> Further north, this incredible video was taken by another fishing group. Jesus. Holy crap. <laughs> Another whale approaching fast and breaching close to a charter boat off Tofino. This is the no-go zone behind the whales and in front of the whales. You the DFO is looking to see if these two dramatic reports are connected. So we are looking into um, if uh, these incidents um, are from different gray whales or the same gray whale. But says these encounters are happening more and more. Now Barkley Sound, Euculet, Tofino, um, around that area there's a large number of gray whales and there's a large number of humpbacks in the area and there's a large number of boaters. So it's natural that um, you know, if you're boating in that area, you have to be very aware of your surroundings. The DFO admits getting up close and personal with a mammoth whale can be a frightening experience, even for a veteran boater. Of course, turn off the engine immediately, uh, let the whale pass, and then when it's safe to do so, to move away from that area and away from the whales to uh, prevent disturbing them. The fear is the whales will grow increasingly comfortable with boats and more instances such as this could occur. Something we don't want whales habituated to people and to boats. So it's something we don't like to see and I'm sure they didn't like to see it. As thrilling as these moments are for the people who capture them on camera, for the whale's sake, the DFO hopes these are the last. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.